Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Dave, hanging out with the crew. Ryan. Ted. Nate. Today we are going with D&D Eyes, one of Image's most favorite, uh, famous characters. And favorite. And favorite, created by uh, Todd McFarlane, Spawn. Nice Spawn. Okay, so let's spawn the ideas here. Okay. So, I mean, obviously, Warlock's got to be a part of the mix. Yeah. There's, there's definitely a, a pact going on, yeah. so you got to go with Warlock. Pack of the Blade, I think, too. Because he's so I would, martial. I would think so. Yeah. Well, well, the chains are so huge and everything he does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the ability to summon But why them. wouldn't that be Pact of the Chains? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because that's symbolism chains. So, <laughs> um, you know, the spawn probably uh, has some sorcerer. In him as well. Mm, I would say he fireballs, oh, dude. Well, I guess you could do that as a, as a warlock as well. Yeah, and oath, I feel like it's um, paladin. Pa yeah, oath of vengeance, paladin, and uh, and warlock. Yeah, that works. Because he's very smitey. He smites the shit. He just out of takes stuff. a lot of breaks. Yeah, yeah. He really <laughs> well, no, paladin will give him some more spell casting as well. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll get some, he'll get some spell slots from that. Yeah, and like I feel like just like that sort of like six level, you know, over six level paladin. When you get that bonus to your your saving throw, is like he's kind of like protected by the powers of hell in a way to like come through and like do the basically Malvolio's bidding to a certain, to, you know, a certain extent. But yeah, Spawn just goes on and on and on. He's freaking so uber powerful. Given his background, I guess we have to go uh, soldier. I would say, yeah. Soldier. I, yeah. I think he was, that's he was very murky. obvious. Very murky. Yeah. And so. he's human. Mm -hmm. Going with the variant. Variant for the feet? I think so. Yeah, well, so what? what's that one feat that we give him? That is a very good question. I mean, a lot. You know, I Spawn does so he's much. Super, he's super fighty. Yeah, he's got casting. Um, What about, uh, what about Warcaster? Warcaster. Hmm. Warcaster, okay, gives you advantage on concentration checks, mm -hmm. allows you to uh, supplement a spell for attacks of opportunity, a single target spell, and it also uh, allows you to use weapons and shields as your arcane focus. Yeah, all right, I, I, I that, could see that. That's, that's pretty reasonable. No, yeah. so, so basically, he uses his pack weapon, the chain, and the, the great. Well, here's the great thing about a pack weapon. One, you're always proficient. You're always proficient. In it. Two, it doesn't actually have to be the same weapon, mm. right? You can it summon different it. weapons. Yeah. It's not because it's not like locked. he he he's created stuff out of his suit that were like blades and stuff, right? And then well, I think he's used the chains in a lot of different yeah. ways. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I, I I feel like him and Ghost Rider, they kind of share that shtick. Mm. Not saying you stole it, Todd, but you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's all good. You know, I don't think I don't know that Spawns has, has turned it into shurikens yet. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but the, you know, it's done a lot, and he's done a lot with it. You know, I think yo, know, dude, sm I think the Spawn smite is when he teleports in you yeah. and rips out. <laughs> yeah, he teleports. He teleports and bursts out like a chest burster. A yeah. Size. Yeah. He hasn't done a whole lot of times, but at least I remember one issue where he did that. Yeah, yeah, it's been done. It's been done a few times. I have not read Spawn in so long. I mean, I started collecting it when it first came out. I don't know how many issues deep I got before I stopped uh, reading comics on a regular basis. Yeah. Uh, so most of my Spawn is is from uh, you know from the movie. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I did read you know some some of the books. You know when Image did come out and they started coming out with Savage Dragon. Dude, he had Cy Gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Your son your son would be very into that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, uh, you know, Savage Savage Dragon, Shadow Hawk, Spawn, you know, I I really thought they were all, you know, unique and interesting characters. Um, but you know, I quickly got out of comics and got into novels and that's that ended that. And that was the end of that. That was too high for looting for comic books, yeah, comic books, yeah, kids. Too it's, high, bro. Not, it's not that it's funny there books. wasn't there wasn't yeah. enough there. Mm -hmm. like, well that's why you had to do what I did and buy like Thirty books at a time. Mm. <laughs> I come every 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 week. I come home with a stack like this. It was I, I stopped for a completely different reason. I stopped because it became too expensive. Mm. It became like I was like I don't know. I should I should do this or take up a crack. I don't know. I might <laughs> save some money with the crack. Yeah. <laughs> so when we're talking spawn, back to spawn. Uh, I guess we're probably putting him in in some kind of armor, even though that doesn't really fit with the character. Technically, he could get armor of shadows, but he's not very well protected. Yeah, like if he does that, and if he's got paladin, he probably has access to armor. Yes, like so. 
Well, well, what if he casts mage armor and just makes it look like something? Well, that's the armor of shadows, but and it's also just a plus three. But here we out on this one. He has those really nifty spike, spiked uh, arm bracers he wear. Mm -hmm. What if they're what if they're bracers of armor that gives you a plus three as long as you're not wearing armor? Uh, I'm go with that yeah. because you start to lose resources once you if you take armor of shadows. Like you start to like lose resources that you could take another invocation. It doesn't for. matter when you're a twentieth level warlock and a twentieth level paladin. <laughs> eh, you guys like go all super high like so I say that makes sense for like cosmic heroes but like there's certain ones that are like eh, this guy's like a level 10 maybe a level 15 like yeah like um, like spawn on the other hand he's, he's the embassy pretty... of hell <laughs> ambassador of hell like yeah. uh, he, he's as cosmic as you get he can go toe to toe with any of the cosmic heroes Co uh, cosmic is like green lantern superman like level yeah. silver surfer and I see him going toe to toe with those guys. I don't, I don't think he's got it when it comes to like the Silver Surfer or something like that. Like it's like, oh, you, you need to breathe. Guess what? They're going on that other space now. How's all he's that? dead. He doesn't breathe. Oh, is he? I, yeah. he does he rest? He he's essentially like a zombie. Yeah, he's 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 yeah. dead. That's how he became Spawn. Yeah, well, I thought he, I thought he came back and got better. No, whenever he peels the <laughs> mask off, gotcha. yeah, he's got the effed up face, but I always thought he still like respirated. It's because he's a zombie. <laughs> he respirates to say things. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, so he's just not talking in outer space. I've seen him throw the the you know he's throw the the basically the hell fireball, mm. that green the, the green dot of light that explodes, the things he's you know he's teleported, he you know he. I don't know if he can fly or not, but it sure seems like it. <laughs> I think his cloak can let him he kind of glide a little bit. So he's got yeah. like a cloak of the Power bat sailing. or something? <laughs> yeah. Cloak of the bat. We can yeah. get him that. that. That's like a reasonable thing. So, yeah. You know, and, you know, essentially, unless you're talking about a street-level hero, uh, you know, when you all DDI's comic books, yeah, a comic book, book character, they are usually epic levels. I mean, you know, like, unless I said, like, like, I guess we didn't go that way with Hawkeye because... He's a street level, right? Yeah, when you but when you get into when you get into the spawns, the Silver Serpent, the Incredible Hulk, the Thors, yeah, they are they are epic level characters. You can't, I mean, you know, you can't really recreate them as if you were making a D and D character, right? Yeah. I, you know, like, like with Batman, I would almost like with him. I'm almost saying that, like, it's not that he's like he is really high level, but it's also he has a game breaking amount of access to equipment. It's really yes. like, that's that's really what it is. Like all these resources. Well, yeah, he's like uh, he's like the uber noble, mm. oh, and then he's also you know a scientist on top of that, and you know he's all these things. Mm. That, well, that's all, that was the ridiculousness of Batman. He's like, you know, he is a normal dude, but he's like the equivalent of like 15 normal dudes. Because <laughs> he's a gymnast, a power lifter, a scientist, a, a detective, a noble. Uh, a noble, and he's like the best of all of those. Mm. All right, so back to Spawn. So is there anything else that we need? Is, is, there, is there feats we're looking for? You know, what, what's going to really help flush out this, uh, you know, this guy? So two weapon fighting, so he has like two chain attacks, like and probably classify them as medium weapons because they're so big, heavy. Yeah, so dual dual weapon fighting would probably work because of the stuff that he's done. Um, it's funny too because like the spawn character too, like they've done all kinds of variants on the spawn, like medieval spawn and mm. you know the futuristic spawn. Mm. So it's like pilgrim you know, spawn, <laughs> probably homeless spawn. Spawn is kind of homeless. Spawn. Yeah. yeah, you know, so he has run run the gambit, like so. It, it also comes down to like which one are you talking about? That's but, true. But you know, yeah, for because I think that I almost feel like Spawn is almost like a mantle, mm -hmm. is the way they ended up doing it. Yeah, and yeah. it's bestowed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. You know, so you know, alertness might make sense. Yeah. For Spawn. Mm -hmm. Um. The thing, you know, the thing about. Um, this what was I, I forget his name, Al Simmons. Like Al, the, yeah, that's the base, it. The Al base person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, he you know he was like a CIA guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like yeah, he was <laughs> like out in the jungles going mission and stuff like the crazy you know mercenary stuff basically. Uh, yeah, so like he was like more Blackwater type of um you know like like mercenary than he was like CIA I believe like he was doing some stuff that was like kind of morally questionable CD deals. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. the CIA. Is yeah, probably, yeah, because yeah. the CIA, they're mm -hmm. Boy Scouts, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Um, so, like, I feel like there's a lot of different feats that will lend itself to that, like, you know, alertness and observant, um, you know, po possibly, you know, while it's spawned and he is friggin' resistant as heck, which works out great for the, um, the, you know, the, uh, the, the paladin ability that increases, gives him a bonus off his saves, but what about resilient for mm. one of the saves that he doesn't get? Right. Uh, what is Warlock? Uh, clearly Charisma, I don't know what their other strong... Charisma and Khan? Or... Warlock is Charisma and Khan, I believe. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm not positive. You, I'm sure you guys will let us know down. down let in, us know if we're wrong. He just has resistant for all the rest of them. <laughs> well, you can't. You can only take resistant yeah, well. once. Probably what? will. Probably will would be the next. You gotta blow a whole feet on it. You can only take it once. Yes, that's kind of mm. beat. But it gives you prof. Yeah, I want it three times. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you proficiency and gives you a bonus to that stat. Yeah, so, it's so, good stuff. So it, it's what, pretty good. What about either you know sharpshooter or uh, you know great weapon master? Well, can he make like a big chain? I, I forget what the restrictions are on, on the warlock uh, packed weapon. Can he make like any melee? Two? Okay, so we can make like a two-handed sword worth of chain. So, chain. like, I feel like he might actually have sharpshooter from CIA. From, yeah, from his military. From training. his military background, maybe later takes Warcaster because it makes sense, mm -hmm. and then you know, and then also moving away from being a ranged fighter, ends up with great weapon fighter or savage attacker. Mm. Yeah, I know this guy's a big fan of Savage Attack. Well, well I would, great, when you combine those two feats together, mm -hmm. they're fantastic. Yeah, like, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, why can't he just have both of those be able to fight with a giant massive chain, or be able to throw it? Because he can like move them around and stuff. So, I would assume he can make range. Yeah, attacks yeah, those things are infinitely long. Yeah, so it, you can make range attacks with those suckers. It it does seem like that. I mean, it breaks yeah. the D and D rules a little bit. We're reflavoring it a bit, right. but that you know we could. Potentially use them as essentially a thrown weapon. We could mm. say he th throws them. Yeah. <laughs> Which Go means he it. throws one end and it just keeps growing <laughs> for however long he needs. Yeah. But yeah, I, but you know, reflavoring that like you as a, as a warlock, well, he could just Eldric. technically re Eldric resummon blast. it. Right. It could also Ooh. just be his Eldritch Blast. Oh yeah, that could be a reflavored Eldritch Blast. That oh, would work nice. out mm. really well. Yeah, yeah. Well and he could have the distance or the spell sniper thing and just be like, boom, six hundred feet, yeah. <laughs> six hundred foot of chain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like although like although the chains are infinitely long, they're not quite as long as Spider Man's webs. Mm. When to when Todd McFarlane was drawing Spider Man, yeah. <laughs> the mm. spaghetti the spaghetti web. Mm. Mmm, delicious spaghetti web. But yeah, that abs that absolutely works. Okay, great. And uh, you know, so I think we've like maxed them out on feats. Unless we're just gonna keep going with levels, and he just starts assuming boon after boon as a feat. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, and you know, he's gonna have pretty high stats. I mean, he's got, he's definitely has superhuman strength and agility. Yeah. Yes. Well, you could even say that like. Um, Gauntlets of or belt of giant strength, like the the skin, the symbiote that he wears or whatever, like yeah. that, that just grants him that level of strength because he's very strong. Yeah, let's well, load him up with magic items. He's got supernatural things going on. So yeah, that's really Poke I think more bat, so like you give him strength belt. You give him a, a, a strength that would be like a reason a reasonable strength for a person to have, and then like oh, but it's actually like a twenty three because he's got these supernatural things. Well, so the, I'm assuming the gauntlets are attuned, right? Every the bat's gonna have to be a tune. Yeah. And gauntlet I mean Bell the Giant Strength is gonna be a tune. But so all that gear three. that's like his hellish gear, like that's all one thing. Like that's that's the, the hell spawn package right there. Yeah. So they would do So it. basically he's got the hell spawn artifact armor. Yes. Yeah, suit. Suit. Is is what you suit. were yeah. saying. It, it gives them all, all of those things for one for one. One low attunement. Yeah. One, one cost, low attunement low cost of your soul. One cost of your soul. Cost of soul. Oh yeah. yeah. Well what other magic items does he need to be like a complete Package of, yeah, uh, package spawniness. of spawniness. No, I just think making him like supernatural, superhumanly strong, and uh, and you know, like this symbiote, the flight that was kind of simulated, like because he does have like a quasi flight thing. So, mm -hmm. Cloak of the Bat kind of handles that. Um, he could, I think, he did some stuff where his suit let him camouflage. But magic could do that too. Like he yeah, he's got he's got enough spells to do that as well. Yeah, obviously he probably has the invocation that lets him see in the dark. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can definitely definitely see that. Or you make that part of the suit ability too, so you don't like burn. Yeah, you know, can, well, can make everything in the suit. Yeah, you could, but you know the 
the devil side is way better yeah. than any other kind of dark vision you can get. Yep. Because that allows you to see a magical darkness. Right. Yep, a favorite tactic of mine. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that, that, that is an awesome uh, tactic, especially if you happen to be a melee fighter. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it works just as well for ranged. But, yeah, so, like, you know, like, super as far as supernatural, like, I think having a 20 dex is plenty you know mm. so like we don't actually have to raise that through mm. anything right yeah. you know you you it, you make his gauntlets or his bracers you know the of armor that's a plus three you give him the shadows that's you know that's a six armor class plus five you know that, that's 11 that's a 21 it's really high in this edition yeah. he still get you know he still gets hit he yeah. still gets hit and he, he's just super tough and he's gonna have the hit points to take it oh yeah he probably has like some access to the shield spell too because his cloak is like deflected stuff Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, like that could be one of the spells he takes if yeah. he has access to it. I don't know. I, I'm pretty Warlock's sure shield might be might be some of the warlock. I have not memorized the warlock spell list. Or we could just cheat and give it to him anyway. Like yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, he gets it from magic initiate. There you go. Bam. <laughs> if necessary, <laughs> once yeah. per day he can do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, it's a known spell, right? No. no. Uh, not unless you can take it from something that's on your list. Uh, okay. Like magic, if you're a wizard and you take magic initiate wizard and make it the shield spell, that's awesome because you get an extra casting a shield, and then you can use it. And it's in your book. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, well, and sorcerer too. Like actually, you take it as a sorcerer spell, and that that's one way. Well, to yeah, you get yeah. shield. Yeah. You get shield as a sorcerer, so you can just take shield and you have it as a known spell. Once you know a spell, you use it. You can use any spell slot for it, right? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Sorcerer. Boom. Yeah, but you actually, so you still have to have levels in that thing. So if we were sticking to Warlock Paladin, he's kind of locked in. Although, and the, the Oath of Vengeance Paladin spell list is friggin' phenomenal. Ugh, yeah, yeah, it's um, Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark, so good. That's the only problem is you can't hex on Hunter's Mark at the same time. Yeah, if only. If <laughs> if only. only. But then again, like, but they both do different things and give you different abilities. So, you know, if you want to hunt them and they might get away... Hunter's Mark. If you want them to trip and fumble or be, or, or, or you know, be weak willed or whatever you want, hex. You got options. You got options. You got options. So I feel like we've D and D I spawn. Um, I think we've covered everything. I bet some of you nerds out there know more than we do about spawn. Um, Cite the issue number. That such and such a happen. Yeah. yeah you can uh, you can put it in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. See if we let us know if we got it right or not. You can uh, check out Nerdarchy, the store where you can get some sweet Nerdarchy swag. You can uh, come hang out with us on Facebook. You guys join the conversation over on Reddit. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy. What's that one feat that we give him? That is a very good question. I mean, a lot. You know, Spawn does so he's much. Super, he's super fighty. Yeah, he's got casting. Um, what about uh, what about Warcaster? Warcaster. Mm. Warcaster. Okay, gives you advantage on concentration checks. Mm. Allows you to uh, supplement a spell for attacks of opportunity, a single target spell, and it also uh, allows you to use weapons and shields as your arcane focus. So. Let's spawn in the ideas here. Okay. So, I mean, obviously, Warlock's got to be a part of the mix. Yeah. There's, there's definitely a, a pact going on, yeah. so we got to go with Warlock. Pack of the Blade, I think, too. Because he's so I would, martial. I would think so. Yeah. Well, well, the chains are so huge and everything he does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the ability to summon But why them. wouldn't that be Pact of the Chains? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because that's symbolism chains. So, <laughs> um, you know, the spawn probably uh, has some sorcerer in him as well. Mm, I would say fireballs, oh, dude. Well, I guess you could do that as a, as a warlock as well. Yeah, and oath, I feel like it's um, paladin. Pa yeah, oath of vengeance, paladin, and uh, and warlock. Yeah, that works. Because he's very smitey. He smites the shit. He just out, takes so. a lot of breaks. Yeah, yeah. Really <laughs> well, no, paladin will give him some more spell casting as well. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll get he'll get some spell slots from that. Yeah. And like I feel like just like that sort of like six level you know, over six level paladin when you get that bonus to your your saving throw is like he's kind of like protected by the powers of hell in a way to like come through and like do the basically Malbolgia's bidding to a certain to you know, a certain extent. But Yeah, spawn just goes on and on and on. He's freaking so uber powerful. Given his background, I guess we have to go uh, soldier. I would say yeah. Soldier, I, yeah. I think he was, that's he was very murky. obvious, very murky, yeah. and so. he's human. Mm -hmm. Going with the variant. Variant for the feet. I think so. Yeah. Well. So what?
Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Dave, hanging out with the crew. Ryan, Ted, Nate. Today we are going to D and D eyes. One of Image's most favorite, uh, famous characters and favorite and favorite created by uh, Todd McFarlane, Spawn. Nice Spawn. Okay.